Hi everybody, I'm Frank from Frank's 3D Shop and today we'll look at a trouble with nozzle. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the nozzle, what it does, how it's made, uh, how to maintain it, how to dismantle and reassemble it. Let's go! Okay, we have to dismantle the hot hand and check where is the problem. Uh, so first, let's, let's bring it to temperature. So let's bring this to 225 and wait for it. So this is the tool you will need. A 16 millimeters open wrench or an adjustable one, a seven millimeters wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, number two, and some pliers, some long nose pliers. So then we push and pull out the filament. So it's hot, so you gotta be careful. And I have to remove on this model, the, sh the, the fan here is removable with those little clips there. Remove them, don't lose them. That's it. I will cut that little tie wrap here or cable tie. Just be really careful not to damage the cables. So you go like this and move the cables away. Just cut. The, yeah, that's good. Move that fan on the other side. So now you need a seven millimeters wrench and a 16 millimeter open wrench. You're gonna, you're gonna be really careful about those cables, the heater and the sensor, with the, the white is the sensor, the temperature sensor, and the red is the heater. Everything is hot, so you have to be really careful, but you have to do this when it's hot. Now I, I cannot pass here, so I'm gonna move the Z-axis a bit up. That should be enough. If I turn the nozzle, with the seven millimeters, everything's gonna turn. So I don't want that. So I use the 16 millimeter wrench to hold on on this and don't, don't push on those cables. Hold on and then unscrew, unscrew I said, <laughs> unscrew the hot hand like that. You have to do this when it's hot because of the plastic, it, it's gonna hold the nozzle there. Maybe I can explain the, the names of the different parts. You, you've seen the fan. This inside here is the heat sink. There inside here with the kind of a screw and a nut, that part is the heat break. This is the heater block, the heater, the thermistor, and the nozzle. Oh. Okay, you see here, that is broken. Let's see a brand new one, you're gonna see the difference. You see? Let's continue to dismantle this and we'll see about that problem afterward. We are going to stop the eating. Wait for it to cool down. It has now cooled down. So we can undo those two little screws don't lose, don't lose the screws. <laughs> and we'll remove the shroud at the same time, exposing the hot hand. Let's now remove the Bowden tube. We can take this out. Let's see, can I remove that? Yeah, okay. So you take the little blue thing, move it down, and then you take out the tube. But it's slippy. <laughs> there, there it is. So it's out. Then we try to unscrew this part from the heater block, the heat sink from the heater block. I don't know what will move, but you try to try to unscrew it. There is plastic oozing here. There is plastic oozing over the threads. So you shouldn't have any plastic here and the threads. 
Okay, let's try to watch the cables. You don't want to, you know, stress the cables, but it won't it won't unscrew at all. So nothing will turn. So I'm going to put this back here. It's stable enough. And then start preheating the nozzle again. 100 yeah, see 190 should do it. So wait again. It's a waiting game. And take it from there, you know, you see? So that I don't burn myself. That is not sh shouldn't be that hot. And you see? It's on it's unscrewing easily now. Because it was oozing out a lot of plastic is what it was jam. So you take out that part watching your not to burn yourself on, on the heater block and then you turn off the heat again so it's turned off and what can I do let's see wait I'm gonna try to put it somewhere here yeah it doesn't touch anything so Okay. Okay, so now that we have all of the components of the hot hand on hand, so this was on the eater block and it was full of plastic. I removed it before. I'm not in a cold environment. I'm not in a garage or something like that. So I don't really need that insulation. So you have the heater block and the heat sink with the heat brake. So the heat brake goes, say, about this long and the nozzle meets inside of it the nozzle shouldn't be you know like this there shouldn't be a gap between because the plastic will ooze out at this end or the other end through the threads so it should be meeting in between and not like this more to the end and the nozzle is has to be near this surface but not touching it because it's going to prevent this to meet with the other one. Because you, because the way you, you remount everything, you, you're going to see. So that's the theory behind, behind this. So you have a heater inside a heater block that melts the plastic inside, inside the nozzle. And this with the fan prevents the filament going in to melt inside here because if it melts here uh, you won't be able to push more filament in and now let's try to remove the heat break you have a small nut maybe a 10 millimeters so oh it was loose yeah, it becomes easier now so i'm gonna take out the heat break how how we do this we put a nut on the end and then you put another six millimeter and I put I jammed the two nuts together I'm gonna take another 10 millimeters what I do is I jam the two nuts together and then use the bottom one and try to unscrew this yeah it, it, it does move yeah it mo it's moving so it you don't you don't take pliers because you're gonna ru ruin all of the threads you just you just jam a nut over the the other one and you can unscrew everything because i want to show you what's inside you're gonna see the liner better at the other end so you see there is the there is the liner that goes just to the top and the other tube come here and meet with this one so this is the pt fe Tef teflon Teflon tube that your filament goes through. So you have the heat sink, a liner, a PTFE Teflon liner, a heat break. But if you buy a E3D V6, the difference is that there is no liner. It's about the same look at this. I'm going to put a picture. But it's all metal. So there is no liner here and nothing here. So if you print at high temperature, you don't melt any li liner inside. So that's why you buy an A3, E3 V6 or a all metal hot end. And, and don't be fooled because if you look at the Chinese ones, 
like this like but this one sometimes it says all metal but it's it's not there is a liner if you see ptfe teflon or liner it's it means that you have this tube and it's gonna it's gonna melt so i'm gonna put back the heat brake if i can then you screw it back where it so we can do we can just with the jam nut with the first jam nut we can just screw this a bit more it seems to be able to go to go in a bit more I, I won't force it it's as far as it can go now i undo the jam nut and i unscrew them yeah, that's it so i remove the jam nut so i screw back the jam nut just just a tiny bit of force anyway you're, you're holding it with your hand so it's not a problem okay that's good so we go back to the printer so what i do i screw back the heater brake and then i screw the the nozzle so i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's right if it's the right length and everything so i'm gonna put this back and put some heat so that i can screw everything because there is mine is is used so there is plastic there so let's bring it bring it again to 190 so it's hot so be careful again i think i'm gonna hold this like that and then screw the nozzle if it wants to it doesn't want to go in so i think i'm gonna use the other one because this one is not working so you see i leave a little gap there and screw in the heater brake look yeah i'm gonna unscrew this a bit and then screw this in uh, that's about it so i'm gonna just uh, screw it a bit more just with you know three fingers like that then put this back i'm gonna stop the heating because i, I don't want to burn myself <laughs> so uh, the only thing you need to do is put this back put the screws in not too tight just two two fingers you don't want to break anything this is abs so just and you you keep your hand here because you don't want to push on the on the arm and then you go back and put this ow <laughs> don't touch the end <laughs> just put back the watch for your eyes and your finger <laughs> just put back the the little spring and then you have to put the bowden tube back oh you don't see it you take both sides here and you push down you don't want to push on on that arm so you hold it and then you push and it's gonna snap in click and it doesn't move little tie wrap here or cable tie i'm gonna use the flush cutter tick Okay, so now my hot hand is a little longer, so I'm gonna screw down the bed. Okay, so I'm gonna level the bed. So it's heated up. I do a home. Let's see if it's working. Seems fine. Boy, that was long. I hope it will help somebody because <laughs> it's hard to do those long uh, segments. Anyway, um, that's it for me. And uh, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave comments below. It's really welcome. And see you in the next video. Ciao.